Welcome back to Animal Appreciation. Let's talk about bats. I am absolutely going to abuse my 10 minute video privileges to talk about bats. First up we have one of my personal favorites, the little brown bat. They eat mainly insects and they live all throughout North America. They're just, they're just little guys. These ones you may have heard about before because um, they've been kind of in the news recently, or like in, in general due to white nose disease, which is a fungal pathogen that is devastating their populations, which is super sad. I did make an endangered species spotlight video about them, so go check them out. This is my beautiful son, Herbert, who has every disease, also known as the hammerhead bat, also known as cryptid nightmare shit. Look at him. Tell me you don't think he's beautiful. So this is the hammerhead bat. They live in Africa and they are, I'm pretty sure, the biggest bat species. I also made a separate video about these guys if you want to go check that one out. On the opposite end of the bat spectrum, we have the bumblebee bat, which is the smallest bat species in the world. We've got our classic vampire bat, which lives throughout um, southern United States, down through Mexico, down through um, some parts of South America. And contrary to popular belief, vampire bats don't actually suck blood. They make a small incision on their animal and they lick it up instead of like actually like sucking it with their teeth and stuff. They don't actually do that. But he's just a little guy like look at him, he looks so happy. Got this majestic one, the flying fox. There are many species of flying fox, I don't actually know what this one is in particular. Flying foxes tend to live in a lot of spaces, or places I guess, mainly like tropical and warm and damp places, like um, so they like Australia, India, Madagascar, all around there, but they're pretty common type of bat. We've got the Honduran white bat, aka the sentient cotton ball, that lives around Honduras and some areas of the Caribbean. And even if you don't like bats a lot, you have to admit that these guys are absolutely adorable. There's the painted bat, also known as Halloween personified. They live in lots of areas around Asia, like China, India, all around there, and their vibes are impeccable. This is the ghost-faced bat which has a very cool name and is found in lots of places in the southern United States and it likes desert, like warmer and drier habitats and it lives like in the desert and it can be found often in abandoned mines, which again, impeccable vibes. This is the pied butterfly bat, which is a pretty rare species of bat found in areas of Africa around the Ivory Coast and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Really fancy looking bat, also called the panda bat and the badger bat for obvious reasons. And finally, we have the Chapin's free-tailed bat, which has this absolutely majestic hairstyle. So this little guy's um, mohawk is only found in the males and it is used for courtship purposes. So yeah, here are a bunch of some of the most interesting bat species. Hope you can appreciate them. Even if you don't like bats, you gotta admit that some of them are really, really cool.